sacred leader. I can't imagine he'd use it for anything other than deterrence. Volgin, however, is a different story. He's planning to use the Shagahod to turn the coal bore into a blazing hot one. We can't let him have it. Agreed. That leaves just one more mission for you to carry out. The boss. Exactly. Uh. For now, just focus on destroying the Shagahod. Yes, sir. I'll let Sigint fill you in on how to destroy it. Yo! Like Eva was saying, if you're looking to blow the whole place sky high, the best way is to take out those liquid fuel tanks with the C3. You know there's four tanks in there, right? You have to put C3 on all four of them. To plan a C3 charge, all you gotta do is equip the C3 and press the weapon button while standing in front of a tank. Just like TNT. But, uh, make sure you don't plant it in the wrong place. You barely got enough C3 as it is, right? Good point. I'll make sure not to plant it anywhere else. Could, man. And be careful. Liquid fuel has a nasty habit of going off at the slightest shock. So don't go using any heavy firepower near the tanks unless you're aiming to get yourself barbecued. I'll keep that in mind. The C3 charges all have to go off at once if you want to bring down the hangar in one fell swoop. So if I were you, I'd wait until after you plant the last charge to start the timer mechanism. All right. I'll make sure I finish planting all four charges before I start the timer. Once the timer's set, you've got 20 minutes until it explodes, right? So make sure you get your ass out of that place by then. I think that's about all I've got. The rest is up to you. Good luck, pal. We're counting on you, Snake. Apparently Foot wanted me to call Sigan while using the sneaking uniform. Let's have a look. Those are some funky clothes you're wearing. Yeah, it's called a sneaking suit. Sneaking suit? What's that all about? I'm not sure, but it looks like what the boss was wearing. Huh. Well, whatever it is, it's a fine piece of work. The suit seems to be made of some kind of special bulletproof fiber. Wearing it should reduce all the damage you take by half. Oh my god, like I need 50% damage reduction as well. The waterproofing and heat and moisture insulation are top notch. Just having it on will reduce the amount of stamina you burn. Nice. It even increases your overall camo index. You got yourself a keeper, Snake. Yeah, maybe we should make it the official uniform of Fox. Nice. And apparently Foot wanted me to um, thoroughly investigate the area back there. I missed a uniform or something as well, so let's have a look. Let's fully investigate these lockers. Nope. Silencer. Oh, nice. I guess the stuff that I couldn't pick up before, unless it's respawned it. At least I can pick up the stuff now. Enough bloody lockers, though. And what's behind door number three? Nothing. It's... And nothing. Well, that's not going to open regardless, is it? Unless I boot the fucker off. You can indeed. Already robbed that one. Go to something in one of these. Ah, here we go. Another uniform. Hey, up, oh, some guy coming. I don't want to stop the alarm. Fuck it, get, 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 I'm lost, I'm lost, I'm so fuck it, there right, go. Fuck us. Nice, thank you very much, dudes. Let's have a look at the other uniform. What do you mean, caution? Eh? Why? Why? No, nobody saw me. Sneaking and maintenance. The maintenance, sorry, the uniform the maintenance crew wears. Okie dokie. Oh. oh, there's a different menu there. So if I equip the maintenance, and then go like, is it right button? There we go. Maintenance crew uniform. Fair enough. Can I use that in the next place? Yeah, well, that'll be alright. I'm just maintenance crew, like rest of people. Alright, dude. Always to maintain together. 
Yep. Yeah, I did my job. I'll leave, I'll leave you to do the rest of it. Man, I want to use the um, sneaking suit with the bullet reduction, but ideally, if I don't get shot at, I don't need the, ooh, I don't need the bullet reduction. Any point to doing this? Yeah, <laughs> seeing an engineer doing this, well, maintenance guy, it's like, yep, no worries. Is it beneficial to go over here? Could be. What? What? You never seen a maintenance guy hanging off before? What the fuck? Get up, dude. Wrong, wrong, wrong one. Oh my god. That's not gonna work, dude. No, I, I can't shoot. Ah. <sighs> It seems like you can still through that as long as you're not hanging from a balcony like a dick. Let's try, let's try dive. Let's see if we can do it stealthily. Hmm? I'd say I could easily brute force this shit. Easily. I mean, all I gotta do is fucking pull out a gun and then just fucking rinse them, but. Come on, kill me! Nice. Right. <laughs> Let's try not hanging off a rail like a dickhead now. Because they do kind of suspect something. Maintenance guy or not, you should not be acting like a fucking spy and shit, like hanging off rails and stuff. So, maintenance? There we go. Right. This time. Let's be a bit more clever about it. <laughs> I didn't know where I was supposed to go. I was up here and it seemed like, well, there must be a reason. Like, maybe you can drop over here or something. Maybe you can if you're quicker. No, that guy's gonna see you. How come there was loads of guards last time? It cost the caution, wasn't it? There's less guys here now. There was like three of them on this left hand side, and two of them were coming that way or something, now there's only one guy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So, right, we've got, it seems like that thing over there is what we plant C4 on. So there's guard over there, and a guard over here was kind of fucking looking right in my direction, unfortunately. Right, yeah, go on, yeah, go on, further forward. That's right. No, don't stop. I don't. I don't can you do drop attacks? Oh, apparently, apparently, everybody's saying take off the face camo. There we go. That better? I said I don't think you can do drop attacks in this. <coughs> apparently, you can. Oh, nice. Nice. Is he gonna wake up and be all pissed off though? I'm not sure. Either way. That's one way of getting to the first C4. <laughs> right, let's fucking plant it. C3, sorry. Right, there we go, that's one. What? Do not sh do not fucking call me out, dude. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just be like, hmm, I don't know who that guy is. Move along. You don't know who I am. This, this team might fucking know who I am. They're gonna they're gonna wrap me out, aren't they? I can tell. That that guy on this fucking thing, he's gonna wrap me out. Can I use SIG on him? I can. Well, oh, I don't need to. Fair enough. Hmm. 
Now, there is a guard looking there, so I don't really want to drop off like that. Can I not get over that? Nope. Oh, I can get over this, though. Drop. There we go. Right. Any guards looking? Yes, one guard looking. He might not notice, though, if I do that. What? It's on it! It's near enough! Do not bullshit me! It's near enough! Snake? What? Eba. I finished planting the bomb oh. on the rail bridge. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> if we get rid of the bridge, the enemy won't be able to follow us. That should at least buy us some time. I've also set up the escape route. How are things going on your end? I no, just finished actually. planting the second charge. Give me a little more time. Okay. I'll be waiting for you at the bridge. Guard down there. Guard over there. Right, here's the third sea fort. Now, how do we get past this guy? Right, just run past him? Yeah, I think we're alright. Now, where's this last one? Right in front of the fucking guards. And there's an item under there. It's noodles! So this guy should hopefully walk to the right. Oh, thank you very much, dude! Most badass looking maintenance work ever from Homocop. <laughs> it's fucking true, isn't it? Like I said, I mean, I know he's dressed as a maintenance dude, but at the same time, you know? He's got a fucking fierce bandana and a rocking eye patch and an earpiece and stuff like that. He's a bit different than your average maintenance guy. He's a little bit different, isn't he? But... Fuck it. Can I get under this one as well? Yeah, don't mind the uh, crawling maintenance guy. I guess that's not too weird. Crawling around in the middle of the floor, underneath tanks and shit. Bit different. Is this guy looking right? No, he's not looking. Let's go. Please don't turn around. I've done so well. Please do not turn around. Nice. Nice. That's not actually what I did, but oh, fancy old bomb. I <laughs> love that. And it's a balloon dog. That's what it's going to be. Oh, it's a butterfly. I won't fire off. <laughs> Gotta be careful, mate. Fucking hell. Got you this time. Major, I finished planting the C3. I'm on my way out now. Hurry, Snake. Is Eva taking care of the escape route? Yeah. Are you sure? She can handle it. All right, then. We'll hurry up and get out of there. Well, now he's a bit obvious. She just blow a load of fucking kiss to me or something. Awesome. She's always after guns. Proper gun hungry. Been on, oh, she, at least she threw it. Didn't dismantle it. Why'd you come back? How many guns of yours must I dismantle? Has he actually landed a hit on her yet out of like four or five fights he's had? Huh? 
There you go. Oh! oh, what? oh what was that? There was fucking sorrow there again. By the time I pressed the right button, I only got a glimpse of it. What was that? Was that a codec thing? Or it looked like a timer. It was ticking down. Let's say, like, was it 13 something or something like that? Is that how much time I've got left? Damn, sorry, dudes. I pressed it as fast as I fucking could. I had pad down because I was watching the cutscene. <laughs> Should know better than that by now. This woman was found snooping around my underground vault. When she was captured, look what we found on her. The philosopher's legacy. Do you do, do what? <laughs> this microfilm contains all the information regarding the legacy. Holy shit, weird. I'd say that this film itself is the philosopher's legacy. It's so freaky, sorrow, man. Just hovering around, only Snake can it see was him. the smell that gave her away. No, not the perfume. It was gasoline. Motorcycle gasoline. She reeked of it. To think that lovely Tatiana was a spy. We found this radio along with her too. Such a fine woman she was. It almost pains me to have to kill her. <laughs> yes, she was an obedient one. She was my precious little pet. <laughs> Isn't that right? What was that? Do you have something to say to me? Go to hell! Is that like a lipstick gun? You dirty whore. I've had enough kisses from you. I should have known. Sokolov Ten minutes. wasn't man enough to have a lover like that. Please tell me I didn't accidentally just press the fucking During button. The last great war, I hope not, I don't think so. Powerful men in America, China, and the Soviet Union I thought I slipped off the fucking pact. right button. The pact was a blueprint for defeating the Axis powers and creating a new world order. To secure victory in the war, the three countries pooled their resources to conduct the most covert types of operations and research. The atomic bomb, rocket technology, the Cobra unit. And they amassed an enormous sum of money to fund these projects. Enough to fight the war five times over. That wealth is the philosopher's legacy. After the war was won, the three countries were to divide the philosopher's legacy amongst themselves. This explains why the United States and the Soviet Union were able to steal away the best scientific minds in Germany as soon as the war ended. But our great motherland has far surpassed its pathetic rivals. We possess enormous wealth, the most advanced technology, and overwhelming power, assets fitting of our great country. My father was one of the men in charge of managing the philosopher's legacy. In the confusion that ensued after the war ended, he devised a series of ingenious plots to ensure that the Soviet Union would have total control over the legacy. The money was divided up and laundered through banks all over the world. Switzerland, Australia, and Hong Kong. This microfilm contains a record of all those transactions. 
After my father's death, I learned of this secret and obtained the microfilm. With this money and the support of Brezhnev and his allies, I built this fortress of Groznygrad and Granin's research facility. But that worthless fool Granin failed to produce results. I was forced to turn to Khrushchev's dog Sokolov and his invention, the Shagohod. My position in Gru made it too troublesome to attack Sokolov's facility directly. But the spy network established by the secret pact still existed. I used it to contact the boss and suggested that she defect. The boss was conniving enough to see things my way. The world was once one, but the conflict between the philosophers has torn it in two. We will use the legacy to heal that rift and make the world whole again. To do this, we need strength, an unstoppable trump card with enough power to bring order to the world. That trump card was to be the Shago Hod and the Cobra Union. I have lost the Cobras, but I still have the Shagohod and the Legacy. There is nothing America can do to stop us. Except that timer that's ticking down. Boss, take this someplace safe. It's for like less than five minutes now. Take good care of it. He wouldn't have come waltzing back in here unless he had a reason. The C3's been stolen. He must be planning some sort of sabotage. Plumbed and done. I'll go see if there are any surprises waiting for us. I'll dispose of her as well. Typical Metal Gear. Double, triple, double cross. Fight like a warrior, Volgan. But of course. Let me face him. I've been waiting for this moment. Time to get even. Even if you win, Ocelot, it's like... 4-1 to Snake's dad, so... You don't really win. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. No more judo, and no more field strips. Go, man. Enough of this. He's mine. You will stand right there and watch. Got it? Please, Colonel, let me silence. Don't worry, dude, it's like many other games to get your revenge. Huh? And then they also like double cross again on everybody. Who the fuck does he actually ever side with? Seven minutes. Sorry for the delay. Let's get started, shall we? Ah! 
I love it a fight. Let's go. Let's do it. This is a once in a lifetime battle. Let's make it a good one. I think I need to change my camo first. We can change clothes with lightning powers. Or is that one probably under his uniform, won't it? But still. What, make it a fair fight? Give him, fair enough. Give him props for being honourable. Not completely unarmed. I thought we were going into a Final Fantasy scene then. <laughs> oh shit, it's only five minutes. What do you mean Ocelot's got a fucking elf bar as well? Is he going to be taking pot shots somewhere? In which case, I definitely need the. Um... Sneaking. There it is. Sneaking. I don't think the face camera really does anything at this point, but. Splitter. So, do I only have that gunny through to me? No, I kind of have every fucking gun I want. Okay, maybe not. Wow, how did he dodge that shit? Oh, look, that's a reload! Oh my god! Just do that! Reload it! I've been massive. He's stopping the fucking... Is every time he... Every time he's hitting me, is it fucking emptying out my ammo? It is! Holy shit! Knife. I tried to get away. No dice. It's not even hurting him! That does not work. Maybe try body slam him? Put that thing away. Nope. That's, that, that hurt him. That fucking hurt him. Slowly. Slum him! No dice. I don't have enough time to be fucking taking him that slow. Ah, try to grab him. Nope, I'm just trying to figure out a different way of doing something after I grab him. Hey, that's it. That hurt him. Nice. I don't... What's he doing there? I'll try fire a shot at him, but... Yep, 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 yep. Back to the knife. 